Welcome to the History Curiosities channel. In this video, I'll be discussing some of the most curious events in history. From strange coincidences to unbelievable feats, these stories will leave you amazed. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. 10 Creepy Things You Didn't Know About the Wild West 1. People often took revenge on criminals by hanging them on the gallows in public places. In the old town of Westwood, justice was swift and often brutal. The townsfolk had grown tired of the outlaws and bandits who roamed their streets, stealing and causing chaos. One day, a notorious criminal named Jack the Knife was caught in the act of robbing the local bank. The townsfolk were enraged and demanded justice. The sheriff knew that the only way to appease the angry crowd was to hang the criminal in public. So, a gallows was built in the center of town, and a crowd gathered to witness the execution. As Jack the Knife was led to the gallows, he begged for mercy and swore he would never commit another crime. But the townsfolk were not interested in his pleas. They wanted revenge for all the pain and suffering he had caused. The noose was placed around his neck, and the trapdoor opened. The crowd cheered as they watched the criminal hang, kicking and struggling for air. It was a gruesome sight, but the townsfolk felt that justice had been served. From that day on, the townsfolk made it clear to any would-be criminals that they would not tolerate lawlessness in their town. They knew that the threat of the hangman's noose was often the only thing that would keep the peace in the Wild West. 2. Some individuals used human leather to make boots and gloves. In the small town of Pine Creek, rumors circulated about a mysterious tanner who had moved into the area. No one had seen him before, but his workshop emitted a sickeningly sweet scent that permeated the air. One day, a group of men decided to investigate the tanner's workshop. What they found was beyond their wildest nightmares. Human skins hung from the rafters, and rolls of tanned human leather lay stacked in piles. The horrified men alerted the sheriff, who promptly arrested the tanner. As he was led away, he revealed that he had been using the human leather to create boots and gloves, which he sold to wealthy customers in nearby towns. The tanner was sentenced to hang for his gruesome crimes, and the townspeople breathed a sigh of relief knowing that justice had been served. From that day forward, the people of Pine Creek made sure to keep a closer eye on anyone who moved into their town, determined to prevent any more horrors like this from occurring again. 3. Duels often resulted in the death of both participants. In the Old West, duels were a common way to settle disputes. But they were not always as honorable as portrayed in movies. One day, two cowboys had a disagreement over a woman. They decided to duel at high noon in the town square. The townsfolk gathered around to watch the spectacle. The two cowboys drew their guns and started shooting. They both missed their first shots, but then one of them was hit in the leg. He fell to the ground, and the other cowboy approached him with his gun drawn. Just as the second cowboy was about to deliver the final shot, a shot rang out from the crowd. It hit the second cowboy in the chest, killing him instantly. The shooter was a young woman who had been watching the duel. The injured cowboy was taken to a nearby doctor, but he died from his wounds a few days later. The townsfolk were shaken by the events and realized that duels were not a solution to their problems. They started to seek other ways to resolve their disputes, and the town became a safer and more peaceful place. 4. Most citizens of the Wild West never fired a gun in their lives. In the small town of Willow Creek, life was relatively peaceful. 
Most of the citizens were farmers or ranchers, living simple lives without much excitement. But the town was located on the edge of the Wild West, and danger was always lurking nearby. Despite being surrounded by gunslingers and outlaws, most of the townspeople had never fired a gun in their lives. They were content to let the law enforcement officials handle any trouble that might arise. But one day, trouble came knocking at their door. A notorious outlaw named Black Jack had been terrorizing nearby towns, and he was rumored to be heading towards Willow Creek. The town sheriff rallied a group of men to defend the town, but most of them had never even held a gun before. As Black Jack and his gang rode into town, a tense standoff ensued. The sheriff and his men were outnumbered and outgunned, but they stood their ground. In the end, a shootout broke out, and miraculously, the townspeople emerged victorious. After the smoke cleared, the citizens of Willow Creek realized that they were braver than they ever thought possible. They may not have been hardened gunslingers, but they were determined to protect their town from any threat that came their way. Five dot the bodies of those killed by gunshot wounds were displayed in public as a warning to other criminals. 6. Gunmen often shot people in the back. In the Wild West, life was tough and often dangerous. The streets were full of ruthless gunmen and lawless outlaws who wouldn't hesitate to take a life. One day, a young man named Jack arrived in a small town in search of work. He was a good-natured person who had never fired a gun in his life. However, he soon realized that in the Wild West, one needed to know how to defend oneself. One day, while walking down the street, Jack heard a gunshot. He turned around to see a man lying on the ground with a bullet hole in his back. He soon learned that this was a common occurrence in the Wild West, where gunmen often shot people in the back. Determined to learn how to defend himself, Jack began practicing with a gun. He found an old retired gunslinger who agreed to teach him the ropes. Over time, Jack became a skilled shooter, but he never forgot the lessons he learned about integrity and fairness. One day, Jack found himself in a duel with a notorious outlaw. The outlaw drew first, but Jack managed to dodge the bullet and fired back, striking the outlaw in the leg. The outlaw fell to the ground, and Jack could have easily finished him off, but he showed mercy and spared the outlaw's life. Word of Jack's courage and fair play soon spread throughout the town. Jack became known as the man who stood up for what was right and never resorted to shooting people in the back. In the end, Jack became a legend in the Wild West, not for his shooting skills, but for his honor and integrity. 7. Women rarely engaged in Wild West violence. In the Wild West, women were often expected to be demure and delicate but there were a few exceptions. One such woman was Belle Star, known as the Bandit Queen. Belle was a notorious outlaw, running with the James Younger Gang and other notorious groups. Despite her reputation, Belle was a loving mother to her children and fiercely loyal to her friends. She had a soft spot for animals, often taking in stray dogs and cats. But when it came to her enemies, Belle was ruthless. One day, Belle found herself in a saloon in Oklahoma. A group of men were harassing her and making lewd comments. Belle warned them to back off, but they continued to taunt her. Finally, Belle had had enough. She pulled out her gun and shot all of them, killing three. The incident made headlines across the Wild West, and Belle became even more infamous. But despite her violent reputation, Belle was still a woman in a man's world. She faced sexism, and discrimination throughout her life, 
but she never let it stop her from living on her own terms. 8. Cattle rustling was a common crime and often resulted in hanging. In the Old West, cattle rustling was a major problem. It was a common crime, and cowboys who engaged in it were often hanged. One such incident happened in the town of Abilene, Kansas. In the late 1800s, a group of cowboys stole a herd of cattle from a local rancher. The rancher reported the theft to the town sheriff, who quickly formed a posse to track down the thieves. The posse caught up with the rustlers and engaged in a shootout. Several of the cowboys were killed, and the rest were captured and taken to jail. They were quickly tried and found guilty of cattle rustling. The judge sentenced them to hang, and the execution was carried out in front of a large crowd of townspeople. This served as a warning to other would-be rustlers that their crimes would not be tolerated in Abilene. 9. Gambling saloons and gambling houses were a major source of income for many citizens of the Wild West. In the dusty town of Tombstone, Arizona, the sound of gunshots and shouting was a common occurrence. But there was one place where the noise was different, the Silver Dollar Saloon. Here, men gathered around poker tables, placing bets and hoping to win big. It was said that Doc Holliday, the infamous gunslinger, was unbeatable at cards. The saloon owner, a woman named Big Nose Kate, watched from the bar as her customers gambled away their money. She knew that the success of her saloon depended on their losses. As the night wore on, the sound of chips clinking and cards shuffling filled the air. In the Wild West, where life was tough and money was scarce, gambling was a way of life. And for many, the Silver Dollar Saloon was the only hope for a lucky break. 10. Famous gunfighters such as Jesse James and Billy the Kid were often treated as folk heroes. Billy the Kid, also known as William H. Bonney, was one of the most notorious outlaws of the Wild West. He was known for his daring escapes from prison and his gunfighting skills. Despite his criminal reputation, Billy the Kid was often treated as a folk hero by the people of the Wild West. His reputation was perpetuated in dime novels and popular songs of the time. However, his life of crime eventually caught up with him. He was eventually shot and killed by Sheriff Pat Garrett in 1881, at the age of 21. Despite his violent end, Billy the Kid's legend lived on, and he remains an enduring symbol of the Wild West to this day. Thanks for watching. If you found this video interesting, make sure to subscribe to our channel and give this video a like. We'll be back soon with more curiosities from history.